and good morning everybody silas back today it's a crazy day we're off on another adventure i have been buying so much junk all the stuff back here behind me just came in this morning i've already packed the dumpster over there clear full of stuff it's just been load after load after load coming across the scales it is about 10 o'clock and i'm just now able to get the camera out and talk to you guys i've got to go through these i have no clue what's in these got to make sure there's nothing i can't crush in there i think this in here is mainly just blades got a lot going on today i don't know exactly everything i do know a few oh that can't go there's a battery in there see this is where you got to go through stuff i'll have to use both hands to get that out in a second but yeah i know a few things that are going on over the next couple days but i don't know for sure what's going to happen in between so like all of this stuff i was not expecting to do this first thing this morning but here we are don't see anything good in this one i got to get that one battery out oh and then this here this tub and then underneath it are clear full of air conditioners so uh, i'll save all those for sure he was just cleaning up his place he didn't really care he just wanted it all gone so it's clear full of junk he hauled this minivan out too i've got to look through it and make sure there's nothing heavy in there because i can't ship heavy stuff in the cars i can ship it but it has to be outside the cars so i got to kind of check it over now there's a cylinder down there might have to pull that out I think that'll be all right this is soft steel I mean it's not soft soft steel but it's not the real high grade steel like forklift forks and things like that there's a bunch of big uh, aluminum radiators in here but I'm not gonna dig those out a little bit of breakage I just don't have time to mess with all of that don't see anything in the front seat so yeah I, I think this year will be okay if I pull that one cylinder out at some point this morning, someone's coming to pick up this Mustang rear clip, sold that, it's headed to a new home. They're driving all the way from Nebraska to pick that up. I've got about one load of cars crushed and stacked on the ground. I'm probably going to crush two more loads over the next couple days. That way I have three loads because they can haul three loads in one day. And that way I have a full day they can just dedicate to me. Stay tuned until later in the video. I got something pretty cool we're going to pick up. I think you guys are going to really like it. And there's actually two somethings that are pretty cool, but one of them is way above the other never had one like it before so definitely looking forward to that i don't know if that's going to happen today or tomorrow but it will be in this video so that's enough talking let's get busy Well, here's my camera. I left it behind earlier. I actually went up to my place and I cleaned up the rest of that house. There's still some rubble and stuff laying around, but I'm just going to bury all that. But anyway, I got out there to clean up some more of that and there was no camera. So I couldn't film that. Get back to the yard. No camera. Can't film anything going on at the yard. But I'm actually home now. We're going to cook dinner and I think we're going to go on a quick mushroom hunt with the kids. And then tomorrow, we're going to go pick up a car that I've never seen one quite like it before. I think you guys are going to really like it. Probably be tomorrow afternoon. So I'm not sure what we'll do in the morning but definitely stay tuned. I'm a little crit. Oh. Look how it looks like a video. I see one right there. A Mr. Scoop comes to our spice spice school every time. Mm -hmm. There's one right there. There is? Oh, there is. I can see one. That's a Jaramicha Carolinaiana. It's really dry though. The sun's already baked it pretty good. Well, Callie, we struck out there. Guess we'll keep looking back here. Checking all my best spots, but no luck yet. Just don't think they're gonna grow this year. That's what two years of severe drought will do for you. What'd you find? Oh, you found some trash? Yeah, you should put it in your work. Dad. I Daddy! Aww. That's so cool. That's cute. He's a like, daddy. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. We found so many. Are you looking for seashells? 
Uh-huh. Or pond shells. There's a five found and another one and another one and another one. <laughs> There's another, another one, one everywhere. Well, we were almost back to the car. And my daughter realized that she forgot her little adventure scavenger hunt tablet thing that she likes. <laughs> so I had to run all the way back up here and get that. So now I'm worn out. And I didn't even find any mushrooms. But anyway, I will see you guys in the morning back at the junkyard. Making pretty good progress on this pile here. Getting in here, I think this car is ready to go. I think the van is just about ready to go. And then the rest of these cars, I really don't know anything about them. That one, they're stuffed full of junk, so maybe it's ready. Looks like it has aluminum wheels, but the converter's gone. Looks like I ripped the hood open on this one here already, so maybe the converters are on it, maybe they're not. Don't really know, so I just keep working my way through here. It's been about a 50-50 mix of cars that are ready and cars that aren't. I'm not sure how far back up in here I'll make it, but uh, I'll keep going as far as I can get in here. I've got almost three loads on the ground now. They're supposed to come haul loads either tomorrow or Thursday, but I think they're only going to get two loads. We'll see what happens there. And this truck just came in. Old crew cab. Diesel truck even. But just junk. Not worth anything. Don't see anything good in it. Old refrigerator. That's kind of neat. Little chopper bike, but it's seen better days. So yeah, I think we'll go ahead and junk that one out. This in here won't fit in the crusher, so I'm just going to take it and shove it in the dumpster. Don't get as much money that way, but it's not worth a little bit of extra money for all the extra work to cut it in half. And the time has finally come. I'm out here at my place now. I'm getting the loader. I've got to drive this down because the car we're going to pick up is kind of up in the trees. It'd be a lot easier to get out with this. I think you guys are going to really like it, so let's hit the road and get over there. Here it is, Plymouth Suburban, eight doors, the Custom Suburban, Plymouth Custom Suburban. Pretty cool old car, I've never seen one quite like it. And it's got seats all the way down, it's not like a limousine where it's open inside. I don't think any of the doors open. Yeah, this door does. Wasp. It's got seats all the way down inside it. Unlike a limousine. And I guess what they did was, the guy that had this thing would deliver school buses. You guys know how I have school buses next door at the yard where I crush cars all the time. They would drive the school buses and then a whole crew of guys would ride back in this and get some more school buses and go again. Been sitting here a long time, buried in the dirt. We're going to hook a chain on it drag it backwards, get it out of here, and load it up on the truck.
it made it it was hanging off quite a bit but like i say it's just right down the street right around the corner so it wasn't a big deal it's pretty rough the floors are rusty the roof's kind of rusty the doors are rusty and beat in but it is super unusual would make really good yard art for somebody if somebody wanted an attention getter out in their parking lot or something like that that's a, that was a stageway on the fender huh it's got a big block in it they said it's a 440 last tagged in 2000 so it's been off the road now for a little over 20 years but it would definitely look great sitting in somebody's parking lot be a good advertisement getter if a guy did just just if a guy did some just halfway decent body work on it you don't have to fix it nice just slap it together throw some paint on it and put a sign on the side of it that'd be pretty sweet so hopefully i can find a home for it but uh for now i'm just gonna stash it out back if push comes to shove one of these days we'll just take it and water it up shove it in the crusher hopefully it doesn't come to that but like i always say the fate of these cars is in your hands if you want it buy it otherwise someday it might just get the squeeze but for now what i'm gonna do is go back to the yard keep crushing there i've got a sand rail that i dug out of the pile that didn't want to cooperate <laughs> that thing was a nightmare getting it out of the pile one of the wheels was stuck on the back side but anyway i gotta set that out for a guy coming to get it There we go, it's set out ready to go. I just now noticed that the front wheels are kind of <laughs> not exactly straight. A little bit crooked, but uh, he can work on that. He can deal with that. It'll still, it's, it doesn't weigh nothing. He can drag it up on his trailer. Someone's cut the uh, bottom out of it. Needs a little bit of work. The string shaft's a little bit bent. I might have done that when I was uh, getting it out of the pile, but uh, I know the string linkage up here, I didn't touch that. But it just needs a lot of work. It'll be a fun project for him in, in general. I thought about running out and looking for more mushrooms, but you know, it's gonna be 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back, an hour of looking, that's two hours of my evening. That might be a waste of time. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna go out to my place and try to do something at least some, somewhat halfway productive. There we go. Happy birthday to me. It's not my birthday, but this is a pretty good birthday present right here. The uh, clinic here in town has a bunch of rocks around all of the trees and they're redoing all the landscaping. But this here is perfect for filling in mud holes and things like that. I had a bunch of that type of dirt there that I kind of filled in a bunch of the holes out here with. But the problem is, is it's been so dry it turned to powder and now if we get any rain at all it's going to turn to slop. So having this here, if I get it done in time, which there's no rain in the forecast for the foreseeable future, I can put this over the top of the dirt and it'll make a nice good hard packed uh, level surface. Not much left of the house. What's left here I'm going to go ahead and rake up and put down into the old basement and go ahead and bury it. Uh, some of the big hunks of concrete I'll probably go ahead and haul to the landfill, like the steps over there and there's a bunch of piles of big heavy stuff like this. Uh, I'll rake everything else in the in the basement and see what's left over. If there's room left over, I'll bury those two. If not, I'll haul them to the landfill. I could send it all to the landfill and just fill this in with dirt, but the problem is, is it costs money. It's like 20 bucks a ton to get rid of this stuff, so I hate to spend that much money because there's a lot of weight here. But anyway, I'm not doing anything exciting. 
I'm just out here editing video. I'm way behind on editing, that's for sure. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. We are slowly but surely getting towards 100,000 subscribers. Now, I don't want to stop at 100,000, but the first goal is, is I want to get to 100,000. So thank you to everybody who has helped support my channel. I really, truly appreciate it. With that, I'll let you go. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And remember to get out there, find an adventure. We'll see you on the next one.